Mitchell Trubisky may be in the midst of saving his career and simultaneously saving the Bears' season. In his last four games, he's completed 72% of his passes, has seven touchdowns to two interceptions, and the Bears' offense is scoring 35 points per game. Comparatively, they were scoring just 16.7 points per game when Foles was starting. Bears fans might be conflicted after watching these ups and downs through Trubisky's career, but Chicago seems to have found a formula for success with Trubisky these last four weeks. Most of that success for the Bears has come through running more play action. In weeks one through three and his first week back in week 12 against the Packers, the Bears ran play action just 25.8% of the time. Since then, they've been running it 41% of the time. This adjustment from Matt Nagy has completely transformed the Bears offense. David Montgomery is now averaging 5.1 yards per carry. They can scheme Allen Robinson to be at whatever level and matchup they want. And most importantly of all, it simplifies everything for Trubisky. The most common playoff of play action is the sail or flood concept. It can work against any coverage, forces defenses to play disciplined in their zones and overloads one side of the field. Even more, it has drastically reduced the amount of pressure Trubisky is facing. It gets him out on the edge of the defense and allows him to be athletic and use his legs. While the concept is simple and the throws are usually short, that doesn't mean that they're always easy. Trubisky has made a number of nice throws with pressure in his face and has allowed his receivers to run after the catch. Here the Bears are running the sale concept. You have one player in the flats, an over route at the intermediate level, and a nod corner going deep. The Texans are in man coverage and blitzing their slot corner to the bottom of the screen. That means that the corner with the flat route is going to have to navigate across the field in man coverage. As soon as Trubisky comes out of the play action fake and feels pressure, he knows he needs to get it to the flat. He makes an off-platform throw that requires touch and allows the receiver to run after the catch. The Bears run this concept to death. Here's that same play against the Vikings. They have a receiver coming across the formation on the flat route, Allen Robinson running the over, and a corner from the top of the screen. All this play is for Trubisky is checking the flat defender. You're almost never going to throw that deep route unless it's wide open, so that really makes it a high-low read on the flat defender. That defender has to choose between the flat route and the over. Here, there's no defender in Trubisky's face, the flat defender comes down on the short route, and the over to Allen Robinson is open. These reads let Trubisky play much faster and decisively. He has much more consistent throwing mechanics and reads when he's on the move compared to when he has to sit back and diagnose a coverage. As a way to manufacture some deep shots, they'll work double moves onto the sail concept. Here, Jimmy Graham is faking like he's running the intermediate route at 10 yards, but turns it into an out and up. This again simplifies the read for Trubisky since he knows the goal of the play is to hit that double move. He just has to check to make sure the corner doesn't stay over the top of it and give his big tight end a ball that he can go up and high point. With these play action sale concepts, it doesn't really matter what the coverage is. Of, of course, it helps to know and diagnose who the flat defender is, but all Trubisky has to do is locate whether someone can get underneath that intermediate route. If they can, he dumps it off to the flats. If they can't, he throws the intermediate route. It's all about simplicity and letting Trubisky play fast. In that vein, the Bears have also been working more RPOs with Trubisky. It's again just reading one defender and throwing off of his movement. They're cheap yards and hold the defense accountable. Trubisky has quick enough feet to make them work well also. Here, he's reading the middle linebacker. If the linebacker comes up to fill on the run, Trubisky will throw the slant behind him. With the slot corner so far off and the linebacker coming up, it makes it an easy completion. The Bears really like that RPO when they're seeing coverage that's way off from the slot corner. It's a very simple and safe read and gets the ball into their receiver's hands. Here, the Bears are working the bubble RPO. As soon as that slot corner feeds into the run, Trubisky throws the bubble outside. The Bears do have some speed and playmakers, and they've found ways to get them the ball in space. Trubisky's intended air yards are way down from earlier in the year, and that's a product of these simple concepts that get the ball out quickly underneath. Comparatively, Trubisky is much more prone to mistakes when he has to drop back and throw. Instead of cutting the field in half and locating one defender, he has to read and diagnose defenses. He can often lose track of hook defenders because he's processing more and throwing later. He can also struggle to read leverage on deeper routes. He'll underthrow the ball when his receiver has beat the defender deep, and will throw the ball deep when the corner is stacked on top of the receiver, which should indicate a back shoulder throw. Once again, simplicity is the name of the game for Trubisky. His legs have also helped get things going, and the Bears have run a number of zone reads with him. They might only use it a couple times a game, but all this play action, RPO, and zone read is helping the run game immensely, which takes even more pressure off of Trubisky. All Trubisky has to do here is yet again read one defender. 
If they crash inside to the run, he pulls it and runs outside. With their H-back crunching across and arcing to the free linebacker, Chicago is getting an extra blocker to that side. As that end goes in, Trubisky pulls the ball and gets a nice gain. David Montgomery isn't the fastest back in the league, but he is very good in small spaces, and the false steps that the zone read, RPO, and play action boot fakes have is super impactful for his game. You can see here how multiple Vikings are pulled out of position on the zone read fake by Trubisky. These simple reads and the faster plays adding up for the Bears offense. Trubisky isn't magically fixed and an elite quarterback, but the Bears have found what he does well and he's making the throws he needs to make. Chicago seems to have finally discovered a formula. Run play action, simplify things for Trubisky, and find ways to hold defenders in the run game by using zone read and RPOs. It's working right now and it allows Chicago to sustain drives and let their elite defense go to work. They control their own destiny next week versus the Packers. If they win, they're in. And once you make it to the dance, anything can happen. Hey guys, make sure to check out the Patreon for weekly game picks, some extra bonus content and video breakdowns every week. There's also early releases for these full breakdowns. You can donate just $1 a month and that gives you access to all of it. I appreciate you guys tuning in and until next time, I'm Casey Sully and I'll see you on the next film breakdown.